a very pleasant morning to one and all well in the last lecture we have completed the first chapter of statistics that is statistics and statistical data now we are heading to the next chapter that is graphical representation of statistical data so as we have seen that what do we mean by the variable class interval class size class marks and how to how to how to denote the data cumulative frequency tally marks and all those things so how can we understand this chapter like the information provided by the numerical frequency distribution is easily to understood when represented by diagrams or graph the diagrams act as a visual aids and leave a lasting impression on the mind this enables the investor to make quick conclusion about the distribution now there are different different types of graphs and diagrams which are used to represent the statistical data and some of them are like uh, the bar graphs bar diagrams histograph frequency polygon pictograph which you will not be seeing in this uh, class okay so basically we will be going to see the bar graphs histograms frequency polygon how to draw this three things okay and what are the methods of constructing them okay so directly i'm starting the exercise in the question itself will understand okay so here comes the first exercise so the histogram of the frequency distribution is given below you are given with the diagram and on the basis of this you need to answer the questions so first question is uh, what is the frequency of class interval 150 to 160 so 150 to 160 you need to see 150 to 160 it is 10 so the answer is 10 secondly what is the cumulative frequency of class 160 to 170 160 to 170 is what uh, how much it is showing the class intervals right cumulative frequency sorry so you need to draw the cumulative frequency for this one okay so how will draw draw the cumulative frequency we know right 0 then 0 plus 4 then 14 plus 16 like that we draw so add all this and just get the cumulative frequency of the interval 160 to 170 prepare a short frequency distribution table so you need to prepare a short frequency distribution table which you can draw and prepare a cumulative frequency and cumulative also you know that we have learned in the uh, previous chapter okay now coming to the second one uh, the histogram showing the weekly wages prepare a short frequency table of this you need to again make a short frequency to starting with uh, 320 to 350 350 to 375 then 400 and so on up to 450 which you can draw third one also you can easily do okay i'm coming to the main fourth question a frequency distribution is given below draw a histogram and a frequency polygon for the same data so for this you need to draw the histogram as well as the frequency distribution so as i see that see uh, question number uh, sixth one is same as that of fourth and fifth so let me explain you the sixth question in which we'll be going to draw the histogram and the frequency polygon with the help of this question you can easily do the fifth and fourth and fifth question okay so here is the question that uh, let me read the question draw the histogram and the frequency polygon uh, in the same figure for the following distribution so for in the same figure we need to draw two, two things that is histogram and frequency polygon the data is like this okay so let's start what we have 0 to 37 so 0 to 30 where is 7 you have to draw this in graph please make sure that you don't draw in the plain paper okay use the graph copy or graph page and draw there okay so first of all 0 to in between 0 to 30 you have 7 so first bar has been made then 30 to 40 30 to 60 4 so like this 60 to 95 so 60 to 95 then uh, 90 to 120 10 this may not be accurate but in the graph it will be very accurate 122 156 so here now how to draw the frequency polygon you have to start from here 
see the midpoint you will get the middle points here of the graph in the graph you'll get the middle point very easily okay so starting with actually now the frequency polygon starts from here and ends here okay because if your histogram is here then we need we take one step forward and we start with this dotted lines from here then dark lines and from here again the dotted lines and we give an end to here so it starts from here and here you have to draw with the scale okay with the darkness with the dark that means dark lines and here the dotted lines so this is called the frequency and what you have to write here here it is uh, the uh, question number six they are saying the class intervals there's nothing uh, it's not a practical data it's just a number so class intervals and here frequency okay write the scale that for x axis what you are taking one unit is equal to 30 divisions okay and here one unit is equal to one division okay like this you have to mention the scale also in each and every graph okay so this is the sixth question with the help of this you could easily do the fourth and fifth question okay now i'm reading the seventh question the pocket money spent by 50 students of a class during a month are recorded as below okay so for the 50 students they have recorded a uh, data that how how much amount they spent uh, while they get the pocket money so these are the data express the data in classified continuous frequency distribution with 50 to 70 as one of the class intervals now see we need to do some two three things in this question the first thing is uh, we have to classify this as a continuous frequency distribution type and it's one of its frequency should be one of its class interval should be 50 to 70 so as i see that there is no data which is below 50 so we can start our interval from 50 to 70 as the first interval of this okay so this is the pocket money in rupees 50 to 70, 70 to 90, 90 to 110, 110 to 130 and uh, I think it is not going more than, okay, it's going 130 to 150. I guess this much only. Uh, yes, right. So this is the class, these are the class intervals. Okay, now I think I don't have to say it that what you have to do in this question okay what you will do in this question see seeing the data you have to first make the tally marks say for example 60 is the first so 60 will lie between this so making one stroke here then 73 with 73 will lie here then 80 80 will lie in this one then 65 like that you take now uh, you know where to take 70 70 will go in this interval not in this interval 110 will go in which interval this one interval not this one so see that such things should be there now after making the telemark just mark the frequency just count the frequency you will get the frequency now draw the histogram of this particular data which you can easily draw and from here just start making the frequency polygon so this much things you have to do see this statistics uh, i don't uh, require to explain you each and everything because this is very easy chapter we, like you can do this questions okay similarly if you come to the eight eighth question okay let us do eighth question so question number eight says construct a histogram for the following cumulative frequency table this is a cumulative frequency table you are given with under 10, under 20, under 30, under 40, under 50. Now, what do you mean by under 10? That means if the value is below 10, then we say that as under 10. So, can you tell me the interval for under 10? It would be 0 to 10, right? If I say under 20, then the interval should be 10 to 20. So, that is what we have done in this question. Under 10 means 0 to 10. Okay. Uh, uh, under 20 means 10 to 20 under 30 means 20 to 30 
under 40 30 to 40 and under 50 is 40 to 50 this is already a cumulated frequency and we need to draw the frequency from this one so i told you how to do uh, for getting the cumulative frequency we add so from the cumulative frequency to uh, going to the frequency we need to subtract so first one remains as it is 20 minus 15 you will get 5 23 minus 20 you will get 3 29 minus 3 you will get 6 38 minus uh, 29 you will get 8 okay now you have this frequency draw the histogram starting from 0 10 20 30 and 40 and sorry 50 so first one is 15 so say for example here to here i'm taking 15 so the first bar will be like this then 5 somewhere here then 3 then 6 then 9 if they ask to make the frequency polygon just make the frequency polygon like this easy okay so draw this in graph question number 9 uh, see the distribution of weights of the 40 students are given as below 36 to 40 41 to 45 46 to 50 and so on up to uh, 61 to 65 now they are asking to draw the frequency distribution and the uh, frequent uh, histogram so first we need to correct that frequency let us correct uh, sorry class intervals we need to correct okay so here is the frequency this is discontinuous or we can say this is a non overlapping class intervals so we need to convert this in overlapping or continuous one so i have explained you how to do that so first of all just see what is the difference the difference is of one what is the half of one point five yeah zero point five so in this upper limits you have to subtract 0 0.5 and in the lower uh, in the sorry 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 this is the lower limit so we need to subtract 0 0.5 and in the upper limit we need to add 0 0.5 so let us do that 36 if i subtract half from 36 i'll get 35.5 to if i will add half in 40 40.5 40 similarly 41 it will be 40.5 45.5 .5, 45 45.5 to 50.5 here also 50.5 to 55.5 55.5 .5 to 60.5 and finally 60.5 to 65.5 so this is the corrected frequency or the overlapping frequency sorry overlapping class intervals and this is the frequency now draw the histogram starting from 0 give this as 35.5 then 45.5 and so on up to the last will be 65.5 3 this will be the frequency this will be the class intervals draw the histogram and with the help of this draw the frequency polygon similarly 10th and 11th question you have to uh, in the 10th question again that is a discontinuous frequency okay so make it first make it a continuous one and then plot then 11th question also again histogram and frequency polygon you have to uh, draw so draw it in the graph and complete this chapter okay so i expect that everyone will complete this statistical chapters these two chapters and show it to me okay so thank you so much have a nice day bye bye thank you